Welcome back guys to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I had some really cool new ideas for Assassin's Creed Odyssey while I made all those cyberpunk videos recently, so I think it is absolute time to create some new crazy builds for it. For this build you will absolutely need no blacksmith grind, you can simply loot and equip every item from the environment or from collecting several legendary gear pieces. It is by far the easiest to make build I have ever created on this channel, eliminating all the grinding process, you will simply have the best free assassin build at your hands if you just equip the items and engrave what is needed to make this build. You will absolutely be able to overrun mercenaries even on nightmare with just a normal assassination or whatever you want to kill them with and you will also have the best free warrior build easily killing every mercenary in just a single hit or creating overpower attacks in the range of 20 to 30 millions. And just look at those insane hunter skills, just a single arrow to kill all those mythical creatures. This build has over 267,000 warrior damage and 800,000 assassin damage, of course it has 100% crit chance, 625% critical damage and over 120% damage with swords. And we are achieving all this by combining very easy to loot epic and legendary gear pieces. So this is in fact the best legendary, most easiest to make build I have ever created that even rivals and dethrones many of my existing epic builds. Let's check out the warrior abilities with this build. You will get over 1.8 million damage with a single light attack, over 2.8 million damage with a heavy attack and a whopping 8 million damage with a charged heavy attack. Ring of Chaos will be over 4.6 million damage, Fury between 13 and 14 million and an overpower attack in an animation cancel will deal over 28 million damage. Your hunter abilities are just as strong, with devastating shot being at 10 million, predator shot being at 12 million, the ghost arrows being still at over 9 million damage and multi shot hovering around 5 to 6 million damage. With your assassin abilities such as RS Madness you will deal over 15 million damage for the activation blast and even over 48 million when you do that on a polo mark. And using that will be unleashing complete hell to your enemies. This is just simply the best and strongest ability in the entire game. You can of course assassinate every enemy with just a normal assassination or a rush assassination, even mercenaries will be no problem at all. Assassinating everyone until you get detected and then simply using Aris Madness to finish off everyone is probably the most rewarding playstyle and this build is totally perfect for doing that, since it is the perfect hybrid build with super high assassin damage, super high warrior damage and insanely high hunter damage. If you also want to support this channel or if you need personal build advice please consider to become a patron or youtube member that would greatly help me out in creating these crazy builds for you. But now let's check out the build guys. We have 267,000 warrior damage for our left weapon and 804,000 assassin damage. This is crazily high considering the fact that we use legendary gear set pieces here. And the most important thing about this build is that we mix up all the best legendary gear pieces to combine it to the best possible outcome we can get. We completely ignore the set bonuses because the set bonuses only give you like 100% crit damage with abilities or just 10% crit chance and a minimal amount of critical damage. So we can completely ignore this and just get the better gear together to get more bonuses and actually make a better build than with any of those sets. And this is even better than using the main line set, better than the Spartan war hero set or anything else by just combining the best pieces with all the perfect engravings. Of course we also use the Bicon bow because it is a free weapon when you use your 200 free credits to get it for free from the shop. It will increase your warrior damage by a factor of 1.6 by adding all its 6495 dps to your left melee weapon. So this is increasing your damage by over 100,000 damage for your left melee weapon. It is very important to use it otherwise you will be stuck around with only 160,000 damage. However if you don't have that bow for whatever reason and you bought something different from the shop I really still recommend you to get it or you can use the Hades bow or the Achilles bow as a replacement but then you have considerably less damage. So definitely get the big hand bow if you can. For our left melee weapon we will use Hater's Harper which is the perfect warrior sword with warrior damage, critical damage and damage swords. Here we can engrave the 100% damage but health cap to 25%. However if you don't like to have this engraving in your build you can also use armor penetration instead. 
Hater's Harper can be found from the friend and need quest in Attica. Just lie to Hater to keep the sword and then you have your perfect warrior sword. It is the best sword in the game and the only one you can loot with perfect stats. The other weapon will also be a perfect warrior sword. If you don't have a second one, you can also simply get the sword of Axon. It is almost as good as a second perfect one. However, it doesn't matter if you use this one or the sword of Axon, you should definitely engrave the convert 50% hunter damage to become all damage. Because when you use the bighorn bow, you don't need your hunter damage at all. In combination with the corpho engraving, which gives you 200% damage to all three damage types, you can actually squeeze out another 100% damage for warrior and assassin damage if you use the hunter conversion. The hunter conversion is the only way to make your unused hunter damage actually usable for your build. If you don't have a second perfect warrior sword you can loot the sword of Axon from the Parthenon chest in Athens. It has fire damage instead of critical damage but it is almost as good as a perfect one. On the big unbow we are left with no choice other than to engrave 10% crit chance because we need that to get 100% crit chance in our build. If you don't have the big unbow you can consider to get the Hades bow or the Achilles bow instead. On the Hades bow you should engrave 10% crit chance as well, whereas on the Achilles bow you can go for anything else like armor penetration or whatever you would like to add in this build. The first piece of our mixed armor set will be Ezio's Roman Hood. Because Ezio's Roman Hood is one of the very few legendary gear pieces that already have damage swords. And we can combine this together with 20% crit chance at full health. The fact that it has assassin damage doesn't really matter because we have so much warrior damage from our 100% damage increases from our base warrior damage that having one or two assassin damage perks doesn't really matter at all. The other two perks are much more important to get right here. The Ezio set is completely free, it's unlocked by Ubisoft Club and you should already have it in your inventory since the beginning of the game. So there is nothing to loot to get this. For the Bracers we will use the Spartan War Hero Gauntlets with Warrior Damage, 10% Crit Chance and we will engrave 100% Critical Damage at full health. To get the War Hero Bracers you have to beat the Lanos on Paros which is a story mission and it is not missable. On our belt we will use the Amazon Tessets. If you play Lexios this item will be called Achilles Wasteband but it is the same item just with a different name and a different look. It has Warrior Damage, 10% Crit Chance and we will also engrave 100% Critical Damage at full health. So basically the same as on the Gauntlets. It doesn't matter if you play with Cassandra or with Alexios, this wasteband is always dropped by the cultist in the temple of Poseidon in Attica. For our chestplate we will use a piece of the Spartan War Hero set again. The Spartan War Hero chestplate has warrior damage, 50% critical damage and here is the perfect spot to engrave the Corfu engraving with 100% all damage but minus 100% resistances. To get the Corfu engraving you have to solve the champion Ostraka on Corfu Island. Of course you could also use the epic Diocles armor instead if you have this item. The chestplate is dropped by the leader of Yubea which is Skylex and you can kill him at any time. Last but not least we will use the pirate treats for our legs. They have assassin damage, 20% crit chance at full health and we can engrave another 100% critical damage at full health on them. The pirate treats can be obtained when you defeat the Mytilenian shark which is sailing around south of Samus. If you are having trouble to beat him just switch the game to easy difficulty. Combining all these items together will give us 624% warrior damage and 551% assassin damage. We have 120% damage swords which is almost close to the maximum. We have 100% crit shots and 625% critical damage. So it really rivals all the epic builds on this channel by just putting all the best lootable pieces together in a single build. For the abilities we will use all the standard ones, we will start with 6th sense that slows down time and also helps you for your assassinations and your warrior attacks, get the poison and fire arrows and then either use multi shot, devastating shot or predator shot. Predator shot is the highest damage one and devastating shot is the easiest one to use. Totally get Archery Master for the additional Hunter damage which we will convert into Warrior damage which also refills your first Adrenaline segment. Put 1 point here into Overpower Bow Strike as a bridge and then go for 3 points on the Ghost Arrows. Get the Charged Heavy Attack, Weapons Master, Gear Master is now really useful since we play at full health and then you can get 3 points into Flaming Attacks. Of course if you engrave permanent fire damage on your sword you only have to go for 1 point on the Flaming Attacks because you have fire damage anyway. Get the 40% fire damage from the fire mastery, then get the overpower attack which will one shot every boss in this game even with this build. Aris Madness if you have the Atlantis DLC definitely a must have. Furious of Bloodline the same if you have the Legacy DLC definitely get it. It still deals half the damage of an overpower attack and refills 4 adrenaline bars. 
definitely get Ring of Chaos for crowd control and since we are playing at 100% health you definitely now have to rely on second wind to heal your character because a torch glitch only works with reduced health. And in the assassin tree go for shadow assassin which gives you 50% critical damage and an increased assassin damage. Pick up rush assassination, critical assassination is not needed but definitely go for stealth master to reduce all the noises you make and your footsteps and increase your out of combat damage overnight. The basic mastery point distribution should be 12 points on hunter damage because we will also convert that damage to be warrior damage, then 12 points on crit chance, crit damage and also headshot damage. In the warrior tab we will go for 12 points on warrior damage itself, then another 8 points on fire damage, 8 points on armor penetration. If you don't have so many points you can actually skip those. But here most important 15 points on damage sword, 15 points on the crit stuff, 12 points on the damage while full health and also 12 points on health gained per adrenaline spend. That one is actually optional so you can actually save those 12 points and if you also save those points on armor penetration and fire damage then you might only need 170 or 180 points to make this build. If you have more than 400 points of course you can max out the hunter damage, you can max out the crit chance, crit damage and headshot damage. Go for a couple of points here on the hunter stuff, adrenaline, not consume special errors and also damage of hunter abilities. Then in the warrior tab of course you will max out warrior damage and further down we will max out fire damage and armor penetration and also put a couple of points on damage dealt restored as health alongside with a general increase for all our abilities. And in the assassin tab we will go for damage whenever time is slowed down, max out assassin damage, absolutely max out damage swords, max out the critical chance, critical damage, damage while full health. If you have the points go for a couple of adrenaline increases, health gain per adrenaline spend and also damage for leads and bosses. Even more points could be spent on cooldown duration or even a general increase for your assassin abilities. I hope you really like the new build especially if you are new to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Special thanks to my super fans James Carroll, Shana, Bruce and Nortix and all the other members and donators. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time. <laughs>